Welcome in this video where you're going to be using Metasploit and MS Venom to create a exploitable EXE. So the steps involved. First of all, we create the exploit, we set up a handler, we get it to our victim, we get the victim to run it, and we explore the interpreter shell that we get from it. So let's go and jump right on in. Alright, so first things first, get to our terminal, get to our Metasploit console, MSF console, hit enter, let the console load. We're going to be loading uh, up Metasploit. That's going to let us run a NSF Venom attack. So MSF Venom. Make sure I spelled that correct. We're going to be doing a payload. So tap P. We're doing a Windows payload. So Windows. We're doing a interpreter. interpreter we are specifically doing a reverse TCP payload and we're going to be doing uh, some of our configuration right here so we're going to be setting on L host so L host is our listening host that's going to be whatever our Kali is I'm going to open up a new terminal and verify my address so I'm setting my L host to my Kali machine. So L host equals 192.168.50.135. I'm setting an L port. That's going to be the port that Kali is listening on. So L port. I'm setting it at 4444. It can be any port where no other service is. I'm doing a TAC F, so I can force it to be the extension exe. Lastly, I'm doing the outputs. I want it on my home Cali desktop, and I want to name it all lowercase important. You know what? I'm just going to name it update. Update.exe. Give it a second, it should run and generate the executable. There it is. So now we have to set up our listener because our listener is actually going to be what's actually accepting the request. So we're going to use exploit. We're doing a multi handler. Multi handler. We are setting the payload, so we are specifically looking for set payload. We are li listening for a Windows interpreter. Reverse TCP. From there, we can do show options. So we have our L port already set. We need to go ahead and set our L host. So L host. This allows us to listen on that IP address on that port. From there, we need to go ahead and do the exploit. And it will start listening. All right, so this portion ignore, that was from a previous session that actually hadn't timed out, but it is still listening and that is the important part. So now we need to get it to our victim somehow. So what I want to do is I'm using a web server. Uh, I have Apache already set up. And so what I'm going to do is I want to copy this file and I want to copy it to my Actually, I'm going to open up a third terminal. I'm going to go ahead and change the directory to my var, to my www.html. I'm going to do an ls. I want to create a share here. So I want to go ahead and sudo mkdir. 
I'm going to make a shared folder. So I have a shared folder. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm copying my executable to my var, to my www, to my html, to my shared folder. And if you get a permission deny, do a sudo. That way, inside our share folder, our executable will be there. So I'm going to be using the web server to get it to my victim. So I have Windows 10 open. It is just a Windows 10, nothing else. It just has Edge. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my Uh, to my attacker. So if it's not showing the proper web content, okay, my Apache is just kind of running slow. So I here is the attacker. I created the share folder specifically so I could have a folder, and there is my update. Again, there's a few things you have to do on our victim. I turned off the uh, antivirus and part of what I would be wanting to do is I'd be expecting that I could trick my victim to download this file. I'm going to keep it and I want to go ahead and run it. So sadly there's a few steps that I probably wouldn't easily be able to get my victim to agree to like downloading a random exe and then opening it, saving it a few times. But now that it is open, now that it had been ran, let's jump to our Kali. And you'll see that our Kali actually opened up a interpreter session. So first things first, I'm gonna do a question mark because I'm in a interpreter shell. Here's all the things that you can do and what I care about the most is I want to do a system info. So that is my Windows 10 machine. So that is how to craft a basic exploit, how to get it to your victim. And assuming you can get your victim to run it, this is verification that my victim ran it and allowed me to get an interpreter uh, shell. Again, this is a very, very basic rundown of how to do this. I will be doing later uh, content videos on exploring Meterpreter a lot more in depth and exploring Metasploitable more in depth. But for now, uh, that's basics. Questions, please reach out.